Hi everyone, so I have had requests on Instagram to do, to showcase how I do face paint. In my house, we do face paint all the time, like we just do it just for, I don't know, just because it's like a it's random Sunday and so we do do face paint quite a lot. And the reason I got good at face paint was years ago, me and my husband used to do uh, promotional type modelling and there was often jobs that would come up where face painters were involved and it seemed like a bit more money. So we went and did a course on face painting. I think though, although I did a course, a day's course, I think most of it is just learned through practice with doing the girls' faces and being a girl who likes makeup. So I enjoyed that process of doing makeup. I'm quite artistic, but it's pure practice makes perfect. So I'm gonna show you what I do. Normally what I do is I go on Pinterest, type in face paint and whatever the theme is that we are doing. For this one, we're gonna be doing Halloween. And then I just pick ones that would be good for my daughters obviously they're a little bit tamer. We're gonna try, we're gonna try doing a spider on the eye today. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And, um, but normally that's probably a little bit scarier, but I thought this one's quite nice for adults who wanna do a bit of face paint, maybe for going out, if that's possible where you are, um, or just, um, just for a bit of fun, but you don't wanna go the full Halloween makeup, zips up the faces kind of garb. So we're gonna try this out. I haven't done this before, so you are gonna be doing this the first time with me and we will see what it goes like. You start by just doing a normal black, shimmery, gray type um, base, just as if you were going out on a night out and you wanted a really dark look. This, um, this palette that I'm using is absolutely, just had it because it's only ever used for face painting type stuff now, so my daughters have had all the glitter in it. Okay, so we've done quite a ropey looking base, um, but I'm gonna touch that up as I go along. And I'd rather, my eyes take a lot of makeup. There's a lot of eye, I've got big eyes. So although it looks a bit um, scrappy right now, we're gonna add to it. And so I always just start with a base and it's dark. Um, I take it down here a little bit and I take it just smoky under the eyes as well. And we can tidy all this up. What you'll find is it'll just get everywhere because you're putting so much on and initially you will look a lot like a drag queen and that's how it is. So I'm now using face paint rather than eyeliner. And um, I just use like a, just I've got a few face paint palettes. Um, so we use a bit of that. I'm gonna go along the line as if I was doing my makeup for normal first so that we just have a nice underneath bit before we start drawing on spider's legs. You are gonna want to go in the waterline I know that's not exactly very nice, but it looks much more effective if you go into the waterline as well. You can also be a lot rougher than you would with your normal makeup because when you're doing Halloween makeup, I always think it looks a bit better to be a little bit like a little dirtier looking than it would be. It shouldn't be so neat. Although I know it still all needs tidying up around the edges and stuff. We can do that afterwards. It's okay, so I've put the ring light on because you couldn't really see the color that I was doing. Um, okay, so where we are at is we have a base. We have eyeline on. I've done in the waterline as well. It's black with a bit of gray and a tiny bit of like a, a a glittery sort of white so you get a tiny bit of shimmer in there as well but that's the basic bit where we are now the technical bit comes in where I've got to attempt to draw in the spider's legs now the main thing is that you create the shadow that's what makes it look like an actual spider I've not done this before so you guys are coming with me on this but this is the basic idea I'm only gonna do it on one eye I'm gonna do it on my left eye. so I changed my mind on which eye to do it on because um well because I'm copying someone on Pinterest and it just it's confused my brain to do it the other way anyway I am gonna very lightly trace where I want the spider's legs to go and they're gonna be so as if the spiders the front of the spiders here and the back of the spider is here um, and my eye in between. 
is the spider's body. So that's what I'm going to do first. So I'm just going to trace down here. Like that. And I'm going to go above here. Okay, so this is the basic outline of what we're doing. I'm going to now use my eyeliner because it's going to be a bit more precise. And because we're going to create some kind of shadow underneath everything, which will give it that 3D effect, we hope, um, I just want to make sure that this is really clear. So I've done this really lightly to start off with to try and get the actual shape. I might have to take this up a little bit. I think that's a little bit too long. Um, but it's if you do it light enough to start with, at least then you can just take it off a little bit. And it doesn't work. So I've gone over it again slightly, leaving a little bit of gaps which we're going to fill in with a bit of gold, a bit of glitter, just to give it a bit of shading. Um, I have had to redo a few. This is never, when you do this yourself and you're not a makeup artist or a face painter, it's not going to be perfect and it's okay. It's still going to look cool and you are going to probably, look at my fingers, they're all covered in like nonsense. Nothing goes perfectly, so give yourself a... Okay, so now you can see that I'm just putting in, this is the shadow and this is what gives it that look of being um that it's lifting off your face a bit more i might need to just take this one out a little bit when i'm looking at it on here you can see it a bit more but it's definitely starting to make a difference the shadow makes a huge difference to it looking like it's popping out so i've just added a little bit of black lipstick a little bit of powder on oh, just now I put stuff all over me there and then i just love a little and a little drip down here or can do a little something don't even know what that is but it looks halloweeny so i actually think the spider looks quite good i'm quite impressed by it as a first goal and um although it took me a while this time i think with a little bit of practice this would be a neater spider and work quite well so adults out there we can have funky cool um makeup on halloween and it doesn't have to be i've made this look a little bit more technical actually once i got the shape of the spider it really wasn't it was hard because i was filming it for you guys but actually wasn't that hard and really the thing that makes it the difference is the little shadow so anyway have fun i'd love to see what you guys do and i know this isn't my normal type of video but as it's halloween and we do do a lot of Halloween stuff in my house. I thought I would just share with you a little idea that I was going to do. So you could see what we are all up to. Now, because I filmed this video and it took like 20 minutes. I'm going to go downstairs and see what the chaos is down there. Because I could hear them screeching. Maybe you did. And uh, you just know it's going to be hell down there, isn't it? It's going to be an absolute mess. Anyway. I'll speak to you all soon. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this. Share this. Let me know how you got on with doing your own spider eye. And I will speak to you all very soon. Peace.